Hi Sitish, so first of all I'm going to congratulate you for the special recognition at today's ceremony. So, so how did it feel to have received it today? See, we at MDOCS uh, strive for innovation in our products and services for the market. And we would uh, really like to thank uh, AGS Graph and Bell for uh, recognizing the effort what we put in this segment. And MDOCS uh, MCM solution, the connected home solution, what we have, what we offer in the market enables the service providers to simplify the experience to their end users, to the end customers what they have, and also to add a new revenue stream, and which is to you know, further the competition, to get ahead of the competition. And uh, we continue to come up with best of the products and services, and uh, to keep uh, our leading position in the industry. So uh, next I would, I would like to ask you, uh, how could you elaborate on the growth on the organization's business in the past year? So it has been, uh, we, we have been doing uh, reasonably good in the market, considering the uh, market elsewhere, global market. So we have been doing uh, reasonably good and we have been doing uh, many transformation projects uh, across the world. Mm -hmm. So from that perspective, the business has been good so far. So far. That's perfect. Okay. Um, so the uh, MTN market has experienced continuous growth in the recent years, opening important horizons for the ICT market. Which do you think are the advantages and the opportunities that the M2M market may offer in the telecom sector? So there, there are uh, you know, tremendous opportunities which are available in the market at this point in time. If you look at uh, uh, you know globally, like uh, North America, for example, we are talking to AT&T and we are looking at the numbers what they had uh, for five quarters. So the net addition to the subscribers is like about they added 1.2 million postpaid subs during that period for five quarters, and during the same period they have added about 2.6 million devices, which are like iPads and so all these devices. So this talks about the tremendous growth in the market. And if we look at Amazon, Amazon is selling more Kindle books than the print books. So this is also talks about enormous potential which is there in the market for the service providers. So there is a, a lot of, uh, you know, there is a very high growth potential market and uh, everyone says this is the, the probably best thing and uh, the area high potential growth in the market at this point in time. So th there are so many uh, you know, reasons why, you know, so one, on one hand this is the growth which is happening, on the second hand for the M2M especially, there are the regulatory requirements and, you know, like in Europe there is a smart metering in place, so which is, uh, which is uh, compelling for the service providers to come up with uh, you know, support those kind of uh, initiatives on the regulatory initiatives. And uh, the other aspect is you know, again from Europe and uh, North America. So uh, wellness monitoring for the uh, elderly people. So you know, monitoring uh, so people can feel comfortable whoever whenever they are left at home. So there are, there are so many uh, opportunities out there in the market. And uh, so there is a lot of potential. Yes. We feel that this is the uh, best thing to happen. I just have a few more questions. Okay. Uh, what do you think are the key growth drivers for the M2M market in India? So in India, if we look at uh, the net growth of the subscribers is not very encouraging for the past two months. And uh, this is true with the, you know, all the sort of service providers. And everyone is looking for a killer app. Mm -hmm. So which is like their CRP, which is there because it had an era few years before, uh, you know, really uh, enjoyed the, so doing the, the CRP business. So now people are looking for killer app. And I think one needs to find a right balance to come up with uh, some data service which is you know, related to the machine to machine and some data service which is going to help them to find a new stream of living. So this is what we do. Okay. Just, just a wrap-up question. What are the other things Amdocs is doing these days? 
see M dogs we are doing it. M dogs we are covering the entire spectrum of uh, the needs which are required by the service providers, from the OSS, and the DSS, and the CRM. So all these what we we cover. And recently we have also launched uh, uh, some other solutions along with M to M and connected to it, like the M dogs mobile payments. Which is like uh, you know, so enabling. So everyone these days has uh, the Android phones, mm -hmm. and whenever they are trying to buy an app from the Android, so they have to give their uh, credit card numbers. And uh, some of the geographies people may not feel comfortable to give their uh, you know, credit card numbers. So there, we are providing a solution, and we are also uh, providing a uh, opportunity for service providers so that they will be able to come up with a mechanism whenever the the end customer is trying to buy an app they can get it built into their monthly statement so through which the two things happen one the revenue this is an additional revenue which is coming to the which is which will be passing to the service provider and second it is also the acquisition which they will be getting from the, all these app stores be it google uh, android play or uh, any other uh, service, uh, service uh, app stores which will be coming to the market so this is an additional uh, revenue stream which we, we are providing we are enabling the service provider so, so these are the kind of solutions we should have. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so Thank you much for your time.